Hey everyone, so I have a confession to make. I've just bought 200 courses on Udemy over time, of course, throughout the last eight years or so. And where it has gotten me? How many of them have I completed? Well, let's filter these by completed. I've only completed 35 of them. In all actuality though, I probably completed a bit more than those because sometimes good instructors update their courses. And one course that you had 100% completion just falls to 99%, 98%. So probably I've completed like 40 to 50 of them. And how many of them were unit courses? <coughs> well, I have 51 unit courses. And as you can see on this first page already, most of them I haven't completed at all. And why is that? Are they bad courses? No, most likely not. Or sometimes they were indeed, I didn't know better. That's why I'm trying to help you in this video. But what are the criteria? How do I know now which ones to buy and which ones to don't? Well, that's what we'll see in this video. Come on, let's go. Well, we'll be covering those six criteria in this video, and I'm going to put some timestamps below for each one of them, so you can just jump straight ahead if you want to. And those are going to be volume of ratings, previous course rating, is it up to date, do you like the structure, does it seem to be around, and code quality. Some of them are easier to measure, some of them are harder, but I hope I'll help you in each one of them. Let's begin. The first thing that I do is that I come here over at udemy.com and just search for a Unity normally, like a normal person would. But instead of looking at the most relevant, because it's a, an internal obscure criteria that Udemy has, I just sort by newest, because like this I have a strong indicator that this is up to date, and I start looking. I start looking for some courses that pique my interest. Let's open five of them and analyze them with all those criteria so we can understand a little bit better. I like this one, this Build NFT Metaverse. I like this one, this Unit Third Person Combat and Traversal. Uh, I probably like this one, this Unit D Mega Course. I like this one, Learn to Create a Tower Defense Game. And let's see this one, Ultimate Game AI for Unit Beginners. All right, so we're going to be analyzing five, we're going to be analyzing those five courses throughout this video just to illustrate my point and hopefully you can spare your money like I didn't over time. <laughs> the first one of them is going to be this one, Build NFT Metaverse with Unit or Algorand. So how do I go about it? Well, first thing, we have the volume of ratings. In this case, we have no rating whatsoever. It's a very new course. So what should I do? Well, in this case, if I'm going through the other criteria, I find it a nice match. I'm going to favorite it, put it in my wish list, and then be looking for it throughout the weeks so I can see how it goes on ratings. Because ratings for me is like the number one and strongest volume of ratings. It's the strongest indicator for me throughout the years. Okay, previous cost ratings then. Let's go to the creator and look at his previous courses. It has 74 courses. All right, all right. That's a lot of courses it has created. It has created Unity 3 course, no, no coding, build and market video games fast, Apple TV apps, coverting. Uh, 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 uh. So we can see that he isn't exclusively making Unity courses. He makes other types of courses. And his other types of courses are terrible because anything below four at Udemy is terrible. You should go far away from. And most of his other courses are terrible, so that's a bad indicator right there. But but some of his unit courses are good because anything between 4.5 and 4.7 is good over Udemy. However, if you go further on the, his courses, you can see that most of them, including unit ones, eventually reach a bad indicator that is a below 4.0 rating. So most of his courses suck. And I would, I would stop right here. I would stop right here. It's not worth it. Uh, he, he, just, he just failed this criteria. So this is a not, not a good course. And being honest with you, Algorand is not a very strong blockchain. If, if, if only it were in Ethereum or Solana or, I don't know, Binance Smart Chain, it would be better. So yeah, unfortunately, I've learned from my mistakes from 200 courses bought to avoid this kind of course. Well, second course right now. Second course is the Unit Third Person Combat and Traversal. <laughs> a bit of spoiler here because I bought this course already. But why did I do it? Well, first of all, the rating. This is 4.7. And do you remember that I said that anything between 4.5 and 4.7 is a good course? And it's indeed a good course. The volume of rating means 
that although it's 4.7, we must consider how many ratings it has. And one good rule of thumb is to look at how many ratings it has and add one, one new rating with the lowest and the highest possible scores and see how it shakes the score. Uh, what do I mean by this? Let's consider we have, let's open Sublime Text over here. Let's consider we have a course like this, course like this, volume of ratings, uh, a five rate, a five star rating, but but only three reviews. If we get another, if we get a new review, if it's a one star review, star review, it would shake the the rating to I don't know. Let's make the the math here. Five times three plus one times one. Everything here divided by four divided by four. It would shake the rating to four. So it's not a very strong rating as of yet because if, with one bad rating, it can go to the terrible range. So that's the idea. If we, of course, put another perfect score here, it would still be 5.0, but you get the idea. So going back to the course here, any rating that gets now, if it was a simple average, would not shake this rating. So it's a strong rating right now. All right, it has passed our first test. What are the previous cost rating for those instructors? Game Dev Team and Nathan Ferrer. Well, you can see that the average here, it's already very high, but let's see a... Uh, Let's look at some courses that they have created. You can see that they are mostly game dev courses because they are mostly related to Unity or Blender or Unreal. And they are all very high rated, so, so they pass the criteria number two. All right, is it up to date? Well, how do you check it? There are two ways to check it that I usually go for. The first one is the description, and you can see that this one already puts the version they are using in the description, and that's as up-to-date as can be. <laughs> that's most up-to-date, that's literally written down here. But if it's not written down here, I try to look for preview videos and look for the version they are using in their videos, like this. I put somewhere in between the middle of the video to look well, for a... Uh, we can also then make abstract... Volume down, looking for some Unity screen to see which version they are using, to see if it's up-to-date. And by the way, I wouldn't trust well, in this case, they already have it written down here, so it's fine. But I wouldn't trust the last updated from Udemy because you only have to update a text or anything at all, so it, it changes the updated date. So I wouldn't trust this. I would trust their preview videos and their description. All right, it passes the third criteria. Do I like the structure? Well, <laughs> most of you already probably know Game Dev Team right now, and I love them. Uh, but how would you know? How would you know? Well, just... Look at their trailer, their video trailer. And what should you look for in this criteria? You should look for the, the clarity of explanation, if they show their faces or not, if they seem trustworthy to you, if they put a lot of stock footage in their video, which is a bad sign, if they show codes, if they show the final result. Those are all things that, if they do, are best for them. But honestly, this is a mostly personal criteria, so just, just do you here and you'll be just fine. The fifth criteria is if they do seem to be around, and in this case, in this case, you can check this by going through their ratings and seeing if they respond. And they have responded a day ago, so it's amazing. And you can see the ratings. Indeed, you can read some of them and see if they actually help people, if people are talking about it in their ratings. But also, you can search for them in their description of their, of their profile. And you can see if they have a YouTube channel or anything where they are active. If they are active, chances are that they are going to be active here too. Uh, and finally, code quality is the hardest of all those criteria to tackle because you have to not be a beginner, uh, first of all. But since this one's the last criteria here, you shouldn't worry too much about it right now because if all other five criteria are fine for you, this sixth one, I'm going to create a video eventually to teach you how to check for this. However, in this specific case regarding Game Dev Team, I can tell you that they specifically, I can tell you that they have a good code quality. It's not the best one I have seen out there, but it's like 7 out of 10, 8 out of 10. So they are not bad. And even though they are aimed for beginners, they always make sure you learn have a good code quality. So they're not bad. And since they check every box here, that's why I bought them a few months back. Okay, next course. Complete Unity 2D Mega Course, Beginner to Expert. Well, from my experience, these kind of courses are somewhat bad because although they promise something complete, that's not true and consider this for a while. All Udemy courses eventually get very cheap because that's a policy that Udemy has and you can't compete with an expensive course. And why would you ever make a long course 
with good quality for cheap, you know. There are a few exceptions here and there. Rob Ager is a very strong exception in this case. But this guy, I haven't seen him ever. So, I don't know. I'm skeptical right from the get-go with this. And again, he doesn't have any reviews yet. So, I don't know what to expect. So, let's check his profile. Well, his profile is not quite bad, however. Let's see why. Let's see what kind of courses does he create usually. Well, you can see that he doesn't usually create game development courses. He creates some design and created courses, some Adobe Premiere stuff. So it's kind of curious that he's tackling, ah, he has created an Unreal course a while ago. All right. And this seems to be his first Unity course. So I'm still a little bit skeptical, but he has passed the second check here. Okay. Is it up to date? Let's use our way to find out. Well, he doesn't mention anything about the version he uses here. So let's see in his trailer if we can find something. Yada, yada, yada. That's a bad sign because I was expecting some guy here and I'm seeing uh, someone that is not in the picture. So it probably is a group of teachers and that's not usually the best thing you want. But that's okay. Game dev team does the same and I'm not complaining. Let's see. Okay, he used Unity 2020.3. So that's not the most up-to-date ever, but that's not obsolete, however. So that's a, uh, okay, okay, that's half, half as good. Let's look at the next criteria. Do I like the structure? Well, not quite, because I was thinking it was this guy, and now it is this woman here that I don't know nothing about. So who are you, and why should I listen to you? That's, I mean, and... They are following one bad practice here for me that they are not showing the end result. I mean, I guess they are showing here, but that's probably the first game ever we're going to make. Yeah, that's Pong. So to make Pong, it's like uh, I can teach you that for free on, over here on YouTube. If you like it, by the way, comment below that I'll, I'll create it for you. And the other one that they've, they have shown here, well, 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 what's this? It looks like a platformer game, but very simplistic one. So I don't know, I, I wouldn't put my chips here. So yeah, that overall it's looking eh, kind of meh. Does it seem to be around? Well, who are these guys? Creativity Unleashed, well, as we saw earlier, they are a group, so I don't know if they are around yet. That's confusing to me. I'm not interested in searching them over uh, other social media because I'm already not liking so much what I'm seeing. So yeah, so far I don't like them. And code quality, how can I tell right now? I, I, I don't. So overall, I'm not feeling so good about it. I'm not even going to wishlist it for later. So I see how the rating goes because I haven't liked what I saw. So that's a big no for this course. The next one, learn to create a tower defense game with Unity and C Sharp. All right, the rating is strong, 4.8 over at Udemy, anything from 4.8 and above is a great course. It's it's better than a good course, <laughs> of course. And this the rating is not as strong because as we saw earlier, if we have another new rating here, uh, the, the worst one that's a one star rating, let's see how it would change everything. 4.8 times 33, the current amount plus one <laughs> divided by 34, but it's everything that we need to divide by 34. It would go to 4.7. That would still be very good, very strong, very solid. So it's looking good. Okay. But how are his previous cost ratings? James Doyle. James Doyle, wow, he's a very strong structure. If he his average is 4.7. And I can see that he usually creates unit courses here. He has been creating how many courses now? How, how many courses, huh? 20 courses. And all of them, with one exception here and another one here are above 4.5 actually three exceptions but many of them are 4.8 and with a lot of reviews so that's a strong indicator of a good quality creator and okay that's nice here is it up to date well let's apply our technique here does he mention the version he's using in the description yada 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 no all right let's look at his trailer and figure it out by ourselves where is uh, some picture of Unity? Picture of Unity. Right here. We can see it in the top here, very small. 2021.2. All right. That's very up to date. That's very nice. So, yes, it is up to date. Do I like the structure? Yeah. Well, in this case, too, just like just like Game Dev TV, I know James Doyle. I follow him on YouTube. I like his teaching style. I like him as well as an instructor. So, yes, I like him. Does he seem to be around? And yes, I also had experience 
previous experiences with him where he has been around, but if you didn't know him, you could be skeptical in this point because he hasn't answered any review. And by the way, one parenthesis over here, the structure doesn't have to answer the reviews, but it's a nice touch and shows he's around, but over at his YouTube, he's around quite frequently, so I trust him. And plot quality, he's one with a good quality as well over at the same level at game dev tv so i like this one very much so what have i done i put it over at my wish list because i've been eyeing this course for a while and i'm just waiting for a few more ratings just to see if this is as strong as it seems and perhaps i'm going to buy it eventually because this topic interests me a lot all right next course Finally, we have this one, Ultimate Game AI for Unity Beginners. Well, Ultimate is a very strong word, and it was very common a few years back. You might have seen it. And so it's a little bit sketchy right now to see something like this, but okay, no, no problems here. It's indeed an Ultimate course, but you can see it has only three hours of video, so <laughs> it's kind of hard to be Ultimate with only three hours of video, but hey, let's not judge yet. The volume of ratings, again, has no ratings here, so what do we do? We go to the second criteria, we look for previous cost ratings, and this guy has two courses, his average is five stars, has done some, uh, has done the same thing for uh, Godot over here, it's a five star course, but again, it's only four reviews, it's almost the example that I showed before, so if it gets one bad review, it's going to plummet his score, very, uh, it's going to be in a bad range, not terrible, but bad range. So, yeah, the jury is still out for this guy. Okay, so question mark here. Up to date, again, what's our criteria here? Components, yada, yada, yada. I can see anything regarding the version. Yeah. If I ever create an, an unit course at Udemy, you, you guys are going to see the version right from the get-go because <laughs> it's very important. So let's look at his trailer and see. All right, let's maximize it. It's 2022.1. It's amazing. It's the most recent. Why isn't he putting it in the description? We don't know. Maybe he doesn't know be any better. Well, we can see that he's been teaching at Teachable. That's a, a nice positive sign because Teachable is somewhat premium. I mean, it doesn't mean that only because he's a teachable that he's a nice guy and does nice tutorials, but it usually takes a little bit more of work to create a course over there. So that's a good sign. Only this, just a good sign so far. And yada, 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 yada. He's showing the end product right here. He's showing some of his code. Let me see the editor he uses is Visual Studio. Okay, yada, yada, yada. It's seeming somewhat reasonable. Do I like the structure? Well, I should here <laughs> this trailer probably to to see if i like his voice his style so i can listen to him well when i'm going through his course but overall i must confess that i'm starting to like this guy let's let's hear him a little bit unity game with a drop of ai you can tremendously improve your player's experience by the end of this course you'll implement your own game ai when purchasing the ultimate unity game AI for beginners you will immediately gain access to a wide range of lessons that focus on decision making pathfinding and compete and control find out the foundations of game ai learn how it works and how you can implement your own finite state machine discover how pathfinding generates a list of positions from a to b avoiding obstacles and enemies. Uncover the secrets of various sensors such as range, field of view, ray casting, and heat detection. Lastly, no AI can be completed without proper communication between the agents. And this is not all. You will also gain access to the full game AI project that this course is based on. Discover how everything fits together and how you can make your own game. Most modules in the project are usable and can be easily repurposed for your own projects. The best part? We will not be using any paid assets as all the functionalities are already implemented with the tools provided, provided by the engine. What are you waiting for? Yeah, I, I liked his voice, his style, his promise. He has shown most of the lessons that we're going to go through. And he has, let, let, let us see, has a lot of preview lessons. Well, not so many actually, but I don't know. I'm quite liking him. So let's see the, does he seem to be around? Well, Adrian redefined game dev. Na, na, na. Show, I started game dev club, held presentations, not in Sweden. Yeah, I don't know that yet. So I, I should search for him. Let's search for him. Redefine game dev, redefine game dev. Yeah, go go the gen. Yeah, he's around. He has created a, a video seven hours ago. So that's seven hours ago in Portuguese. Sorry if you're not Brazilian. And okay, he seems to be a nice guy. And code quality, well, it's still a little bit early to tell. I could try to guess it by seeing his code you're examples looking to spike in Discover here, how that works would be very premature of me. So overall, I'm liking this guy, but I don't have all, all checks. So what am I going to do? I'm going to favorite his course and eventually I'm going to look 
open my wishlist page and see how strong the rating is. Depending on it, I'm going to buy it or not. I've, been, I've done that before to this course here, by the way. I'm waiting for the ratings to go up so I can trust it or not. So let's review what we have done in this video. I have gone through five courses and have said no to two of them. This one was the first one, have said no to this one, have said yes to this one, have said yes to two of them, no to this one, yes to this one, and maybe to a final one that was this one, the Ultimate Game AI for Beginners. I have done this going through these six criteria. I know that I haven't covered code quality at all, but trust me on this one because it's a little bit longer and you are going to need a full video on this one later. But with the other five have filtered successfully some courses and I hope, I really hope in my heart that you can now filter your courses at Udemy so you don't spend so much money like I have done. And if you like it, please give it a like. It has been one of my longest videos so far to create. And if you like these kind of videos and other game development videos, unit tutorials, and many things in between, please consider subscribing because this channel is all about it. And thanks a lot for watching to the end. If you'd like for me to create a unique course at Udemy, please comment below as well because that would warm my heart and I would indeed create one for you guys. And that's it. See you. Bye.